The Word of God encourages us not to be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Are you filled with doubts of what tomorrow will bring? Are you troubled and feeling hopeless about tomorrow? Receive God's Word today of hope and assurance of a better tomorrow. You will be changed. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you very much because you always have a plan and a counsel. Your word is to build us up and to encourage us. And we we'll receive fresh insight into your word this evening. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome viewers. I'm, I believe in God with you uh, that this year will end on a note of victory for every one of us in the name of Jesus. I'm believing God with us that this year will end with multiple visitations, even for us in the name of Jesus. And the idea is that whatever it is we did not realize in the first 11 months of the year, all will come into place, all will come into view in this last month of the year. Why am I saying that? With God, all things are possible. So don't walk in doubt, walk in faith. Choose to believe God and you will see his glory. Today I'm sharing a word of titled resilience. Resilience. What does it mean to be resilient? It is the ability of something to return to its original state or shape after being pulled, after being damaged, after being destroyed and battered, it returns to its original stage. Resilience. A Christian should be resilient. The Lord did not promise us a bed of roses. He didn't say that in this world everything is going to be easy. Actually what he said was in this life you'll have tribulation. But he said rejoice for I've overcome the world. Now it means we might face challenges but we'll come out of them victorious. God expects us to be resilient. Not to take on the form or the shape of the problem of the dangers. But rather to stand in his face as the ones that have come out victorious amen by the time daniel came out of a lion's den there was no mark there was no scar on his body to suggest that maybe he had a slight bruise or he had a, a, a brush with the lion no actually someone was preaching the other day and that person said the lions in the den did not see daniel they saw another lion they saw a greater lion they must have seen the lion of a tribe of judah and so they kept quiet but when those men were thrown down, <laughs> the lions saw men and they devoured them. Listen, I'm talking about resilience. When they were cast into the fiery furnace, there was no smell of smoke upon them by the time they came out of the furnace. They were back to their original ship, resilience. That's how a child of God should be. Let me quickly read something to us in Acts of, uh, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 20 from verse 22. And now behold, I go bound in the spirit unto Jerusalem not knowing the things which shall befall me there, save that the Holy Ghost witnesseth in every city, saying that bonds and afflictions abide me, but none of things move me. None of these things move me, I beg your pardon. Neither count I my life down to myself, so that I might finish my course with joy, and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus, to testify of the gospel of the grace of God. Apostle Paul was saying, yes, I have... Uh, advanced warning advanced knowledge of what is awaiting me in jerusalem but i'm going because the lord has said i should go and i'm not scared none of those things move me he was resilient he was saying listen i'm still going to come forth as gold because uh, as long as i run my race to the finish line i'll be who god has said i am i will do what the lord has asked me to do resilience so 2020 has been the year of the covid 19 pandemic businesses have been lost you know lives have been lost relationships have been lost some people have suffered setbacks and they are yet to recover but guess what do you know the word of god is saying you can bounce back so don't lose hope be resilient stand your ground stay true to your convictions in the word of god that's why you must have a root you must have an anchor and your anchor must be in the word of god that does not change that way you are sure you have a guarantee of bouncing back again and you will bounce back but be resilient and the word of god is the foundation for resilience god bless you see you tomorrow bye bye we believe you have been blessed join us at 9 a.m tomorrow at vine brand church queen school road at Batajiari for a life-changing experience in our glorious worship service we are confident that with Jesus, your tomorrow will be better than today. Come now with us and we will do thee good. God bless you.